What is going on guys? Back at it again. Today we're going to do a bridge in the front. And I've already got a bridge in the back, so don't need another one. Well, kind of do. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a bridge in the front. Uh, a lot of people don't really know what this is. Uh, when I tell people you know, they could use a bridge up front, they're like, basically they have no understanding of what I'm talking about. So I'll explain what a bridge in the front is. Basically what we're going to do is just do like a bridge. Go from frame rail to frame rail in the front. It's going to kind of help support your belly from caving in. Your lower cross member, that's a belly. That's what I call a belly. Um, but yeah, it helps that from caving in. Um, probably really don't need one on this car, honestly. I wrap the front of the belly, I wrap the bottom of the belly, I wrap the back of the belly. Only thing it's lacking is the very top of the belly, which the motor mounts kind of hold that together. Granted, you can break motor mounts. Uh, but that's why I'm kind of putting one in. I'd rather overkill it than underkill it and have problems later down the road. Yes, I should have done a full wrap. It probably would have been the overkill side. But anyways, we're moving on from that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a bridge up front, show you guys how. Um, maybe help you guys kind of clarify what exactly a bridge is and what it does. So let's get to it. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put a piece of square tubing right here, going vertically, coming down, and there's going to be another one running horizontally that runs all the way over to the other side of the frame in this same location. Uh, and how we're going to get that measurement is we can drop a plumb bob down to the ground right there. I already measured it. And we'll do the same thing over there. You can see where that soapstone is. Yes, the floor is a total disaster. But yeah, you can see where the soapstone is. That's my other mark. So I just measured across, and I came up with this measurement. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, but whatever this is, you want to add double the thickness of your tubing because otherwise you're going to be shy because uh, your tubing is going to be out here on the outside of your frame. And if you just put this measurement, your tubing is going to be on the inside of the frame. And that's not really going to do a whole lot of structure. Because we want to tie into this part. We're trying to keep this frame from flexing in and out. Mainly in. So if you go down here on the bottom, that's not really a whole lot tying in. That'll just bend. And if you bring it up here, there's a lot more surface area to tie to. It's a longer strip. And it should be a lot stronger in the long run. So that is what we're going to do. So if I've completely lost you, let me show you what we're working with. Yeah, I've been working. I've been doing all kinds of different stuff, not just the bridge. All right, so this is basically what we're working with. That right there is going to connect to your frame rail, and that right there is going to connect to your frame rail. This is going to go underneath the car. I'm going to put mine a couple, about a half inch, maybe an inch or so behind the core support. Uh, I don't remember how it sits. I'll have to look in the car. I think it sits below the core support just a little bit. I was going to put it even with the bottom, but my radiator hose hit this side, and I don't want to prematurely wear out a radiator hose. So I dropped it down just a little bit. Uh, it's still kind of hidden, which is kind of what I was going for. But I'm about ready to throw it in the car. I'm about to coat those edges uh, in the front because I wanted the back to sit flush. Well, I'm going to have to coat them in the back. Let me excuse myself there. Uh, yeah, because I wanted the front and the back to be flush against the frame. So I'm going to hang it up there and kind of mark it out and start cutting. All right, so here's kind of what's going on. It's upside down right now, so if you're wondering. Uh, I forgot to mark where I wanted to put it. So I'm going to actually put it a little bit further forward than I wanted. Uh, if I had it back further, or if I had it back where I wanted it, I'd be getting into this. Um, I could still scoot it back a little bit, but I'm pretty happy where it's at. Uh, yeah, there's my gap between my core support. Um, the gap will probably be about the same between the frame, as you can see the radiator hose over there. I want to leave a little bit of room between it. But basically what I did, I just run a level down to that. Um, now don't go off that line. Make sure your car is level, because right now mine is not. So I just put a mark at the top, because that's where I want to start at. And then I'm going to level up the car, and wherever that falls is where it'll fall. But yeah. Uh, don't level that up with your car to incline because it'll look stupid when your car's sitting level. All right, so we got our car lifted up. It's pretty darn level. Ain't super perfect, but it's within the line, so we're good there. Got our bridge supported with a jack. Got just a tad bit of pressure on there, just so it'll hold it still. And we're going to mark where to cope our square tubing. Yeah, it's pretty well even on both sides, so that's always a good thing. Uh, pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to just lay a square or a straight edge straight down. I'm going to just mark a line on front and back. And that should tell me where to cope it. And then I'm going to kind of measure how far I want to come up. I believe that's the top of where I'm going. Actually, what I'm going to just do, I'm going to measure from that uh, bridge up to the radiator support. 
and take the measurement, put it over here, cope it out, and see how it fits. All right, here's what we're looking at. This is going to be our coat part. Basically, it's going to go kind of like a little diamond. That little section there is going to be cut out. And that's where the frame will be. Same on both sides. So we're going to notch that out, see how it fits. So I got it just sitting in there, mocked up. Pretty happy with it. Uh, it's not leveled or anything like that. And that line probably isn't going to be accurate anyways. Uh, that was just a point of reference on how far I wanted to go forward. But yeah, it fit pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, the frame does tilt in a little bit, so there will be a gap at the top. Uh, if you were to build this without tacking it all together, you could compensate for that. I'm not going to care about it. I'm just going to fill it up with weld. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the fitment. I got a little bit of gap there behind the core support. It sits just under the core support, which I'm happy with. And it's off my radiator hose. So I'm going to pull it out. I'm actually going to weld it in the car. Uh, reason being, this could draw in. And I've got a pretty happy fitment with it, and I don't really feel like messing with it anymore. And it's easy to get to, so I'm going to throw a cap on here. Throw it back in, uh, plumb it up on my level, burn it in, burn it in, and then burn all that together. All right, I'm going to hop in here real quick. I was editing, and I uh, thought I had this in the video, but maybe I didn't. Uh, <clears throat> on the bottom of the bridge, in each corner... What I would do is put a gusset there normally from corner to corner, just a little triangle piece. Uh, I didn't do it on mine because my belly's wrapped. Didn't really see an extra need for it. But I would definitely recommend it because it will strengthen it a lot. Um, I usually do one in the front and the back of each side. I may add one. I've had a bunch of people already saying, hey, why don't you put a gusset in there? Because the belly is pretty much three quarters of the way wrapped. That's why I didn't. But anyways, you know, I figured I'd hop in. Look at that black beauty. Not you, Dewey. I'll get... I'm working on a Cadillac video. It's still coming. I got a bunch of Cadillac videos for you guys, actually. A bunch of different Cadillacs. Yeah. They call me Cadillac Dan for a reason. Anyways, back to the video. All right, that's what we're looking like with our cope for our frame. I went ahead and capped it to keep water out of it. Because I will fill up the water if you don't. And there's our other side. I'm about to throw it in the car and burn it in. All right, we got it all leveled up. I did have to move it just a tad from my original mark because when I moved it, it pushed it closer. Or when I leveled it, it pushed it too close to the uh, radiator. So I had to adjust for that. But other than that, I'm happy with it. Uh, start tacking this side, go over to the other side, tack it, and then start welding it up. We got the bridge in. And just to prove I'm human, don't do what I did. I forgot to take that into account, the curve of the frame. Yep, so now I got a big old gap to fill, and a normal person would cut a piece of metal and put it in there. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to weld it up. Do it in one single pass. Nah, probably not. I'm going to run a bunch of beads. Fill it up. I'm just going to leave it. Don't care. But yeah, the rest of it's coming along good. Got that all welded. Three sides. Just going to go through here now. And boom, we're done. Almost. I mean, done with the bridge. Still got like two, technically three things left. But we're getting there. Look at that. Filled her right up. You can't even tell. How do I do up there? That's the key question. That's a little bit of a hard spot to get to. Send the camera in there. Make sure I got it all filled up. A little water getting in there. I don't think that was too bad for laying on my back, cramming my head up there behind the bumper. I ain't going to complain. Plus, it was on the front of my weld. I was welding away from me. So, I kind of figured there would be a pinhole there. That's what I wanted to check. We'll see how we did on the other side. Maybe better, maybe worse. All right, there's a 50-50 chance that this one's going to be worse. Uh, this one is like literally welding blind. Let's see. And we can't see. Oh, there we go. That ain't too bad. I'll take it. So there it is, all welded up. Well, almost all. There's a missed a spot there. I'll have to come back and get that. Might be... But yeah, there it is. That's how you do a bridge in the front. Pretty simple. So we're done with another project. Uh, as I said, there's two, kind of three things left uh, that I want to reinforce. Unless I think of something else. Uh, running out of steel, running out of money, running out of time. So you have to call it quit sooner or later. 
Uh, I mean, I kind of went above and beyond what I originally anticipated, but you know, kind of plan on beating this car a little bit, so I want the last. Uh, plus, I really like this car. Uh, the other things, what it is, um, that square tubing under the doors, I gotta go get some metal. Uh, metal's super, super expensive right now, so I've kind of been trying to put that off. Didn't really want to buy it, but it needs to be done. And the other thing, the reason I say two of them, spindles, left and right, driver and passenger. Yeah, got to reinforce those. So I might call my buddy. Uh, he's got a new Lincoln welder, uh, generator welder combo he's wanting to try out. I'm sure I want to try it out. I'm positive of that. Uh, but he can get some nickel rods, and we can use that for the uh, spindles, which are cast steel, I believe, pretty sure. Um, you can use a MIG. You can probably use a 7018. Um, I've seen it work. I haven't, I don't, I haven't, did, I haven't done the 7018s. Uh, I've MIG welded lots of cast steel. Had pretty good luck. Uh, like I said, with my ears on my rear end, usually preheat them, let them cool slowly. They'll usually do okay. Um, not saying it's going to, you know, hold together the world, but I've had a lot of luck with it. But if I can do it the right way, I prefer to do it the right way, uh, mainly because these are going to be under a lot of stress. So I'll see if I can get him on board. Um, you guys will know if to put up a video of him welding them up or me welding them up, but you'll see his machine either way. So we're going to end it here. Um, hit the like button. Hopefully this helped you out on kind of clearing up what a front bridge is. Uh, I know most people don't really talk about it, but I figured I'd bring it to your attention. So hopefully now you know, maybe it'll help you out if you want to build one. Go for it. So hit the like button, subscribe, share, comment, uh, tell me what you think, and we'll see you on the next one. See you. What's the problem? <laughs>